Hi everybody, today we're going to discuss the new customization system and talk about our plans for the future. We'll start with the most sensitive issue, historical accuracy. Everyone has their own opinion regarding the non-historical customization elements. They are totally unacceptable for some, while for others, this is a chance to paint their tanks and personalize them the way they want. The ability to view non-historical elements is disabled in the game client by default, but if you are willing to, the feature can be activated and you can enjoy a variety of customization options. It's obvious that historical and non-historical customization elements differ. First of all, they differ in contrast. You should remember that some historical customization elements, such as various camouflages, may look totally non-historical and cannot be real but they were actually present in real history. You can't even imagine what World War II tankers were capable of when they wanted to make their tank appearance unique. One of my favorite historical photos is of a Stug III, deployed in Africa and covered with traditional German red lead paint. Sand and sun faded the paint so much that the tank became pink, like a little piggy. It is important to know which elements are historical and which elements are non-historical. There's a special indicator that appears in the garage interface when you install any non-historical element. Some of you might notice that some historical customization elements, the ones that are truly and totally historical, are within the non-historical category. We are aware of this issue and will fix it as soon as possible. We are planning to increase the number of places that 2D and 3D customization elements can be added with each iteration. As for 2D customization elements, we are considering emblems and signs that can be edited, combined and resized. Also, we're planning to use large emblems that you may apply to the entire tank or its individual parts. You will also be able to create numeric signs. After we listened to your feedback, we decided to introduce a per-battle lease system for the rented styles containing a set of camouflages. You pointed out that the rented styles consist of only camouflage, and it would be great to add some emblems and signs to them. We agree. That's a great idea. We'll do it. Thank you very much for your diligence. We're currently working on some improvements. Most of these improvements are related to the user interface. The current interface may contain quite a large number of controversial solutions, since it is a transitionary interface, and it should both support the long-established user habits, as well as provide new possibilities for the customization elements added in 9.21. Based on your feedback, we're going to improve the customization system. First of all, we'd like to introduce some changes to it. Rework the way you apply the customization elements and simplify the process for applying all the seasonal ones to make it work in just a few clicks. We still have a lot of work to do on adding new customization features, including 3D customization elements. The user interface will also change and greatly improve as the project develops. Regarding future activities, we're planning to expand the customization system by adding new content, providing more possibilities to apply new customization elements for other tiers, and of course focusing on 3D customization elements. You know, it's cool when a barrel or a log or something else is lying on a tank. It looks cool, and I hope we can get this done as soon as possible. Apart from the current ways to obtain customization elements, each of you can get them as a reward for completing some objectives or activities. As time goes on, we're planning to introduce some unique styles in the game. These styles will be awarded to players for participating in game events and contributing to the project. Therefore, they should significantly differ from the rental styles in both implementation and appearance. It's obvious that paints, camouflages, effects, and other customization elements will all be awarded. We're not planning to limit those to set styles only.
We were extremely upset when we found out that some players considered the gift camouflage, released together with the new customization feature, as a mistake. That was an actual gift. We wanted to please our players on New Year's Eve. We hope each and every one of you has a great time during the upcoming holidays. We wish you colorful battles in the new year. Intense victories to you! We hope that next year, your favorite vehicles will become more colorful.